games interaction to preface the song. So now, I want you to all close your eyes and think about the most unfortunate experience you've ever had with Ikea. <laughs> so I want you to remember, imagine it, save it in your brain, and in a minute I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and for someone to share one of their <laughs> Ikea horror stories. Now, so once you see it, you can open your eyes. And if you share, just going to throw something out there. You'll get a hug from me. You'll get a free cup of commiseration. And I'll sing this next song mainly to you. So that's some incentive there, hopefully. So who wants to raise their hand and share a story? These Swedes are notorious. You've all got to have at least one IKEA story. Um. I know. I love IKEA. I've never had really? a story. Really? <laughs> I, I, I guess you should. I guess you could share a good story. Then you won't get a hug. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. no I wish I had a horrible experience, but. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Do you work for IKEA? <laughs> <laughs> I should. I should. Okay. Um, anyone else? Did they do you wrong in any way? I just say meatballs. <laughs> meatballs. Oh yeah, the meatballs That's are all disappointing. I need to say, right? Yeah, the, the meatballs are disappointing. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, my little story I was going to share um, is when I called customer service, because I ordered this bed frame, this box spring mattress, they said I didn't need to order bed slats, that I would be just fine with those three pieces, but then my bed broke twice, and so, after it broke twice, I started to think there might have been some missing communication between me and IKEA. So, anyway, that's my story. It's not quite as bad as the meatballs, or it's probably not as good as your story. It sounds like you guys are in a happy union. <laughs> I've just gotten lost. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, yeah it's that's, very overwhelming. Yeah, I get lost. That's not, yeah. Yeah. Okay, like, well. with no hope of ever escaping. <laughs> okay, so, for that piece of existential Wisdom. I'll give you oh. <laughs> <laughs> and here is your free cup of commiseration. Yes. It's basically a cup that says, I owe you a drink. <laughs> there you go. To be redeemed later. Um, yeah, so basically that that's it. And I'm going to sing this first song now. Right. That was my intro. <clears throat>
For this one, I'm going to ask someone to share a jingle. It can be something from a TV commercial or on the radio. You can even make one up, you know? I won't know the difference. Um, yeah, so for, for this one, I don't have any rewards, but um, <laughs> no, pat on the back, baby. We can arrange that. But um, yeah, basically, what is the name of the jingle you can think of, or one you just think should be a jingle? <laughs> I mean, I want to share, but I wanted to give someone else the opportunity to share. One of my favorites is the Mentos commercial. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> For example. Thanks. <laughs> um, Classic. Yeah, so. Oh, oh, in the back. Uh, this old Snickers uh, commercial, there's a hunger inside oh. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. The hunger inside you, Jingle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The juicy fruit. Yeah. You know, ski, you shined up, take a stick of juicy fruit. And the double bit. And the double bit. Yeah. 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 Ye
Hawaii. Oh. Oh, yeah. Or something. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what they do, but <laughs> it involves that. Um, okay. This next one is McGuey's favorite, so I better do it well. Um, oh, yeah, and I, it comes with a story. And I haven't told you this story. Um, but <clears throat> back when I was single, uh, I had a crush on this bartender. <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, right? Everyone crushes on the bartender. Uh, but he was no ordinary bartender. He was smart, fun, a talented comedian. Uh, but the thing about him was how open and emotionally available he was. Again, it's super cheesy. Every girl wants. Um, but I remember this one time he was talking to me about his mom, who was really sick and had passed away recently. And he was just so sweet and strong and real about it, you know? God, I'm such a sucker for sincerity. Because <laughs> after that, I was totally sick. I would, I would actually go to the bar and visit him and bring him hot dogs and s'mores and I would wear cute outfits and I would just I'm hoping he would notice me and like me back one of those days. Um, but he didn't. That's okay. You know, I might have creeped him out or he wasn't over his mom yet or I guess there's a whole slew of reasons it could have been. And but it didn't work out. Um, but... Anyway, what is the point to my story? The point to my story is that it's easy to, I realize this, it's easy to stare at someone for hours and all you see is the good in it. It's easy to do that at bars. Um, so, without further ado, um, Bar, I was going to say bartender, this one's for you, but I guess barista, this one's for you. <laughs> and uh, here is the Creeper song. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>